tengeneze hicho tengeneze hicho After rambling through a castle, we experience Scotch literature and Scotch whiskey. Savor the new Scottish cuisine with a local friend, stow away on Her Majesty's yacht, and check out the new park. Edinburgh has two distinct towns, the medieval old town and its 18th century new town. It's all split by a grand park. Its royal mile, which leads from the castle through the old town down to the palace, is one of Europe's great parks. We start our visit where the city did, at the Edinburgh Castle, the fortified birthplace of the city over a thousand years ago. This imposing symbol of Edinburgh sits boldly on a rock high above the city. While the castle has been both a fort and a royal residence since the 11th century, most of the buildings today are from its more recent use as a military garrison. Crowds gather as traditionally each day at one o'clock that big gun is fired, giving the ships in the port something to set their mind. Why one o'clock and not now? It costs the frugal Scots eleven fewer rounds. Your admission comes with a fine guided tour. Welcome to the castle, ladies and gentlemen. It takes roughly about 20, 25 minutes from the time you leave here to the time you get to the top. The wall have climbed 414 feet. It's easy. I've done it 10 times a day already. <laughs> <laughs> once you got through gate number five, or if you got through gate number five, we still had a surprise for you because we had gate number six. And once you knock down all these gates, you are basically in the lower defences, which means you're in the bottom half of the castle and you're planted with the fight. The castle has never been taken by force, it has only been taken under siege. Now you see how much trouble went to keep the English out. We're a bit more diplomatic now, we charge them money to come in. This is Mom's Meg. 